Welcome to the first interview then, now that we're actually recording. Um, I'm Cassandra, for anyone who's wondering. I do the social media um, and community events and handle all of those things for Night Cafe. But yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself and kind of how you found Night Cafe. I am Austin Beckstrom, um, Art of Art on the website or at Austin DM. And I've uh, been on the website since October. I am a graphic designer, been doing that for uh, about 15 years. I had some friends on Facebook that were talking about AI art. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, amazing. I didn't realize it had gotten that that advanced. And so, you know, I just started like going on a couple different uh, like apps and things. And then my wife directed me to Night Cafe and uh, been been hooked ever since. I saw you had her linked in your profile. And I was like, that's a... Yeah. Nice little shout out, especially considering you have over 11,000. It's close to 12,000 followers on the site now. Insane. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel Sorry. about that? Is that kind of just like a, you don't really think about it? it? It's fun. It's cool. I'm, you know, I'm grateful. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to say that I, I never, uh, my wife and I never compare or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, or do that. But no, it's, it's really cool. I feel, uh, yeah, it's exciting that, that people seem to like what I do. Yeah, it's a very exciting time to be on the site. It's kind of blown up, so it's a good time. So I was actually curious, how does it look with you and your wife using the site? Do you guys kind of compete in a way or just kind of um, bounce ideas off of each other and say, this is what I created, here's what you made, let's just compare? Definitely the latter. Um, I think that we, you know, most of our, not most, but a large percentage of our tax conversations are relating around, you know, we usually do uh, four images at once and say like, you know, which one do you think is best? And uh, and we do that and um, we give each other tips of, of different things. Like, you know, for example, this is how I've been making my eyes, you know, look better. Or, uh, you know, this, this is an artist that I think, you know, really would help. And so it's a lot more collaborative that, that we've been doing. And, you know, it is, uh, there's the fun spousal um, competition, but it, it's mostly, uh, collaborative team teamwork i feel that my husband and i when i first started using the site i brought him onto the site and that's something that he was kind of a little bit hurt about was that i was the better one out of us too <laughs> so he didn't like that but if we still have fun we still have fun oh that's so cool so i kind of want to get an idea of what your day looks like as somebody who uses night cafe kind of if you could run us through um, what you check when you first hop on, kind of just, yeah, your, your everyday using of Night Cafe. Yeah, so I'd say normally um, when, you know, I get, when I go to bed, I usually, you know, do like a blast or a bunch of, of images, usually about uh, six or eight, and I hope that, you know, those little seeds have, have grown overnight. <laughs> so first thing I, I would do is I look at notifications, um, you know, reply to any comments or as many as I can, and um and then I say, you know, look at my feed, try to give people likes as well as get inspiration. Same thing with the explore wall um, to see, you know, what's what's popular, what's what uh, people are, are enjoying at the time. And then honestly, you know, just I don't want to say that, not that much creativity, but lately it's been more just uh, posting a, an ever growing backlog of images, you know, hundreds of images. I still haven't posted because I don't want to post, you know, 500 at a time or whatever it is. So just uh, post some of the, the older images that I've got, um, see, you know, what people like and, and, uh, and go from there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. I kind of understand with having a million images, kind of like, what do I do with these? I don't know. <laughs> I do have some prints in my house that I, I made. They were with Dolly too before um, it came to Night Cafe. So they're not necessarily made on Night Cafe, but there's so many different ways like that I've been exploring how I could use my AI art that I, seem to think I have no use for. But um, how does it feel actually having a community like based around AI art and this love for just creation in general? That's awesome. I'm not going to say, oh, I hate it. It's the worst. No, <laughs> it's really, really exciting and fun. I think uh, this, you know, I think most people know social media has pros and, and cons with it. And it's so like refreshing to be on a site that's almost completely positive of just people creating beauty and people um, giving each other compliments and just like, wow, this is amazing. You did great. I love it. I want to, you know, copy it. I want to know how do you do this? Um, and, you know, of course, every now and then, you know, you still get spammers and, and trolls popping up. But mm -hmm. fortunately, 
it's a vast, vast minority, you know, 100 to 1 or, or whatever. That's something I get so excited about with this community is I feel like with social media the past few years being so toxic in ways that we can't really even put into words yet, having something like the Night Cafe community is so refreshing. And it's different kind of, sometimes I feel like I'm viewing it from the outside, but it is so, I don't know if heartwarming is the right word I'm looking for, but it just, it feels something, something in me that I'm like, I just, I love it so much. It's very yeah, refreshing. And one of my favorite books is The Artist's Way by uh, Julia Cameron. Julia Cameron. Cameron? Cameron? Yes. Okay, good. Love that book. Yes, yeah, we're talking about people who are block creatives, people who, you know, want to create or for whatever reason they don't, they don't believe in themselves or they don't think they can. And so many people I've talked to, that's one of my favorite things about it. People are like, I've never been able to, you know, make a stick figure. And now I can create these, these beautiful images. It's just literally painting with words. And I think it's so cool and exciting and, and something I like to geek out about, which is what I'm doing now. Yes, it's awesome. Something I was just thinking about this morning was kind of like how exciting of a time it is to be living right now with AI art. And, you know, there is some hate online about it, but with anything new, there's going to be some backlash and there's going to be some people who just don't understand it and are going to take a while. But it's kind of like we're living in the time of when impressionism came about or surrealism, like AI art, I feel is its own own uh, genre of art. So totally. very, yeah, very cool to see. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about there's a, I want to say faction of people or there's a mindset uh, people you know oh it's not art oh it, it's it's you know bad it's not good for whatever reason and to me that's almost encouraging because yeah like you're saying look at the impressionists you look at the modernists so often anytime there's been like an advance in art there's always been backlash yeah and definitely. people are arguing whether it's art or not um andy warhol said something that i keep taking to heart something along the lines of let other people argue whether it's good or not whether it's art or not meanwhile keep making art and that's what i i want to encourage people to do I had something I want to add to that. You're talking about how making bad art is better than making no art. I think it was something along those lines. Or just let other people argue if it's bad or not and just keep making it, yeah. Yeah, that's, there's this quote I just saw. Someone had tweeted, making bad art is better than making no art. And that's something that I really internalized. I was thinking like, that's, it's so true. I feel so many people, as you mentioned before, they're kind of boxed in. They don't really know how to create or where to start and AI art really does kind of give them that stepping stone. I know a lot of people at least who have taken their AI art passion and turned it into something more and they started painting. They don't want to say they're painters, but it's what they're doing. They're painting, um, doing mixed media, doing starting prints or their own business um, with the stuff that they're making. So I even consider myself someone who got lucky enough to kind of use it as a stepping stone to find what I was um passionate about for so long i think like a not ai art traditional art has been so elitist of you know you have a lot of it's uh you know not the the common person doesn't really interact with the the fine art world as much and i think yeah it's gotten people so much more involved in it as well as learning so much more just about different you know art techniques about different artists i think it's it's, it's exciting and really really cool yeah, agreed. Very gatekept in a way. I mean, I, I want to say, say I understand, but it doesn't feel good to be left out of anything for anybody. Nobody wants to be left out, especially when all you are is interested. That's we're, we're people. We want to create. So it's yeah. nice we finally have somewhere that we can. What inspires you then to create? And what what do you look for when you are looking up new prompts or trying something new? I don't know if I have the best answer for this, or at least I feel have some like internalized guilt about what I do because <laughs> I've interacted with a lot of, you know, people who I think are, are true artists on the website. And of course, you know, everyone has the, um, the imposter syndrome. So I'm not always like have an image in my head and I need to get it out. A lot of times I'm more just like throw it at the wall and see what sticks. So I, I see, you know, oh, that looks like a cool prompt. That's a, I wonder what that does kind of thing. So it's more, um, experimentation, which I love that the site is very um, forgiving a lot of the time, as well as, you know, we still get weird things where you have a, a mustache growing out of the eyes or, or you know, whatever. But uh, so that, that's, I guess, I don't know, that's more of a process than, than what inspires me. But I'd say other than existing art, as well as uh, what people are, are doing on the website is where 
I'm, I'm finding inspiration to, to create. Definitely. Do you have a favorite artist, someone that you kind of go back to always checking on, seeing what they're up to, the kind of stuff they're like creating? on Night Cafe or in yes. general? Or? Sorry, on Night Cafe. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to leave people out. I don't know <laughs> a lot. There's so many very talented people. Um, I feel a little bit, uh, what's the word, um, kissing up, but I really think my <laughs> wife, Tracy, is one of the most gifted artists on the website. Um, and my stuff would not look anywhere near as as uh, good as it does without her um, collaboration, assistance, help. Also, I'd say some of my favorite people, and again, I'm sorry for anyone I'm forgetting, um, Quiet Volcano, Mormoki, Nilaria, uh, Gazelli, um, Riss, Zia, um, Draconic Visions, Adam Cito, of course, he's, I think he's like the highest, uh, the most followers, so he's, you know, the champ. And then there's Nate uh, B, there's, um, oh, Scarlet Genesis, uh, Rufus Dinosaur. <laughs> I'm just like listing people now, but there's so many really, really talented people that sometimes anytime they, they talk to me, it's either like, oh, I'm talking to a celebrity <laughs> or it's, you know, I'm not worthy kind of thing. And so it's, uh, it's, yeah, so that, that's, that's what I've got. That's Sorry very to... interesting. I like to, to <laughs> ask people that <laughs> question, um, just kind of, I don't realize it sometimes, but the night cafe site in itself is an, it's its own ecosystem. You got the top dogs, people who like, oh, I don't really think that I'm that good, but they're actually super good and they could probably make it to the top of the page if they wanted to. And that's super cool. Yeah. So the last question that I wanted to ask was what keeps you coming back to night ca cafe and why? Um, well, you know, I'd say it's like two two faceted. One is honestly the community, uh, just the positivity, the kindness, the um, the genuineness, and yeah, there's there's nothing like there there. Are, fortunately, you know, there aren't any like dividing factions on the website. There's nobody that's you know saying like AI art's not really art, and you know, making stuff on the website to prove that it's not or something. So it's just uh, a bunch of like-minded people who are not necessarily like-minded, but people who all agree, this is something important because this is something, this is something cool. I also, you know, to advertise a website or whatever, it's a really well done website. It's really helpful. It's so intuitive. Um, it's so easy. And like I said, forgiving that you can start out with no knowledge and make something amazing and then spend some time on there and looking at open prompts and learning that you can make you know, hopefully even even better stuff. So yeah, what keeps me coming back is it's awesome people and it's a well-made website. Love that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Austin, for meeting up with me, even though we had a few hiccups in the beginning. Is there anything that you want to mention before we cut off the recording? Um, this is probably me getting lofty or whatever, but I don't <laughs> care. Again, it's something I like to geek out about is I keep thinking of the, the phrase democratization of art. That, that AI art is just making it possible for so many people to be part of creativity and, and visual art. I don't see that there's anything you know bad about that. And I know that there are arguments against it. And you know, as a art history nerd, I have a, a response to anything they want to throw at me. <laughs> but you know, the bottom line is, is uh, William Morris, who's the founder of the arts and crafts movement, said something along the lines of, I don't want art for a few any more than I want freedom for a few or education for a few. And so I, again, like, you know, more people creating art is, is an amazing, wonderful, good thing. Yeah. Agreed. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful quote. I love that. Great. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, Austin. Um, it was great talking with you and Likewise. I hope to see your art on night cafe. Make sure to give you Same. a follow. <laughs> Same, Cassandra.